she's not stumbling around, she's not being in any way aggressive. Um, and then she's asked to walk out of the cell, which she, she does. She walks out of the cell in her stockinged feet. And then within one second, two seconds, three seconds, within a few seconds later, she's brought back in, and that's Officer Hart, and he launches her across the room. Ugh. It's so shocking to me to see. And she strikes the bench face first, and then is, this is Officer Hart, forces her up, and then sees all the blood on the floor. And then this other officer comes in and tries to help her. And then when she gets up, you can see all the blood everywhere. On the floor there. She's ble bleeding profusely, actually, and they're trying to, they're actually trying to stop the bleeding at this point, because it's everywhere. Did she come over and him apologizing at this point or anything? Or she she doesn't, he, he was not apologetic at all, she said. She actually says this officer was kind to her, the man that's holding her. So you can see her hands covered in blood. And then it just it goes on for a while, and then, then the mm -hmm. ambulance comes. Cassandra afterwards, um, her entire face, as you can see here, is very swollen. Her whole, the whole side of her face is completely swollen. And all of the bones here were broken. All the bones in her cheek and, and her orbital. Swollen it is when we look at it from the side too. This is a thumbprint that was left on her arm by Officer Hart. And this is how she looked a couple weeks later. Okay, if we could just hold that one there for a second, please. And this is her neck. Um, Cassandra believes that these are actually fingerprints um, right here from Officer Hart's hand.